All right, so in preparation for setting the work offset, we're going to insert a collet. This is a 16C collet. We're going to screw it in until it bottoms out. You do it by hand, then use a driver. You can see those blades fit those slots perfectly. And we're just going to gently screw it in and not force it beyond where it stops. We test the open and close. That's looking good. All right, so then we insert our stock. Our part is going to be two inches long, and so we want to stick it out about to two and a half inches. That gives us room to turn the part and then part it off and still have three eighths of an inch sticking out of the collet. So the, the closer to the collet is, the better it is. The more rigid the setup. All right, so the tool we're going to be using is tool number eight. That's the one we touched off in the previous video and we're going to touch off on that face and in order to use it to touch off we're going to have to go into MDI and actually call up that tool with the offset so tool number 808 will activate that tool call in the tool offset so that the machine knows where that tool tip is so now that tool is active and now we can approach the face. We're going to turn the spindle on. And we're going to carefully approach in Z and then in X. Once you get close, turn your increments to one thousandths per click on your handle and just touch in. You can hear it touching in. You're just barely rubbing. So you back off the material and we're going to move in about 20,000. So to do that, we go to the position page and we find the operator page where we can actually zero out the Z axis right where we're at. Okay. So we select Z and select origin. And when we click on origin, it zeroes it out. So then we want to go into hand control and we want to move in Z minus 20 thousandths. So we dial in 20 thousandths towards the chuck and we're actually going to face that stock take 20 thousandths off and that will be our Z zero right there where we expose the part. So we just come in and X on our hand wheel. And we're just manually facing that making sure we're cleaning up a hundred percent. We back up, get all the way off of the part and it's critical that we leave our tool sitting right there because we want to capture that Z position right now. All right, so the way to do that is we go into our offset page and we're going to set G54. So we're going to select the Z column and at that point we're going to select Z face measure and we're going to store that position. So when you click on that, now the machine knows where the face of that part is in relation to that tool. Once you do that, you want to get away from the part because we're going to verify that we've done things correct. So we're going to back it up in X. Then we're going to move away in Z. Then we'll go back into MDI mode and we're going to manually switch tools. Then we're going to call up that tool. Make sure we make that tool active and call in the offset. And then we're going to add to that MDI program 
G0, which is rapid, to G54 Z0 with that tool active. We're going to insert that. So now we have T808 and wrap to G54 Z0. And we hit cycle start. And the tool should go to that position that we just stored. And you go into handle mode and just verify, get close in X just so that you can visually see that the tooltip is now in line with C0 and you're good to go. You have verified that you've stored that work offset correctly. That's it for setting the work offset.